Certificates are another way that we can build an infrastructure for authentication and actually can extend that same infrastructure of authentication to encryption as well. Let's take a look at some of the architectural components, terms, and concepts of certificates. First, certificates rely on the idea of public and private keys. The public and private key concept is where each entity is given a public encryption key, and this public encryption key is meant to be publicized and widely distributed to everyone. They are also issued a private key. Now this private key should be kept very private. In fact, many times we encrypt the private key itself with a special passphrase or a password. So only the user who owns that private key is allowed to actually utilize it. Now the public and private keys are linked mathematically in such a way that anything encrypted with the public key of an entity can in turn only be unencrypted by the private key of this entity. Let me give you an example. Let's say I wanted to send you an encrypted email message, but I had never met you. And I don't want to send you an encryption key that's private because, well, how would I encrypt it and get it to you in the first place? Instead, I look up your public key in a common registry or an internet search engine. I then encrypt a message using your public key and send that message to you. Because, again, of the relationship between public and private keys, the only other key in the universe that can unencrypt that message is your private key. My key, both private and public, can't even unencrypt that message. And so certificates are used to associate these public and private keys with an entity. Now that entity can be a person or an organization. And to do so for a specific time period.